everyone, it's Dovey with Simply Dovey, and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable tulle pom-pom wands. They're really cute. So if you'd like to see how to make them, then continue watching. To make these tulle pom-pom wands, you're going to need a few supplies. And of course you're going to need tulle, and I am using the color Baby Pink. It's a glitter tulle, and the size of this roll is 6 inch by 12 yard, and it was $3.99 at my local craft store, which is Hobby Lobby. And also, there is a regular color pink, if you don't like the little glitter in it. Here, uh, this one is just pink. It's also $3.99, and this one is a 6 inch by 25 yard. You're going to need a dowel rod. You're also going to need to um, have ribbon and I have a baby pink ribbon and a gold ribbon. And let's see, the baby pink is a quarter inch and this was $1.99. And let's see if it says the size of, okay, and this, the metallic ribbon is 1 8 inch. Also, you're gonna need a piece of cardboard. This is, you really don't need to worry so much about the length of it, but the width, this is four inches. And you're going to need scissors. And to paint the dowel rod with the glitter, I'm using Mod Podge, and I'm gonna need a paintbrush, and I am using gold glitter. Also, I'm gonna need a hot glue gun or some form of glue. So first I'm going to take my dowel rod and I am going to start putting um, gold glitter on it with my Mod Podge, and I do have some parchment paper down here on the table to protect my work surface. And also, this will help with catching any of your glitter so you can save it and you can put it back in your bag. I'm gonna first start off by taking some of the Mod Podge glue and putting it onto my paintbrush. And then I'm going to put it onto my dowel rod. And so I put a little bit of glue on my, um, the Mod Podge glue onto my dowel rod and now I'm gonna sprinkle the gold glitter on part of it. Okay, so I do recommend having a little bowl to put your glue in, that way you don't contaminate your other glue with glitter. Also, you don't actually have to use the glitter. You can use ribbon or you can paint your dowel rod um, any color that you want. I just really like the um, glitter because I like glitter. So once you have your glitter completely on your dowel rod, you're just gonna put it to the side to let it dry for a bit. And once it's dry, we're gonna come back and actually Mod Podge over the glitter again. That way the glitter doesn't fall off. Now I'm gonna put the Mod Podge onto top of the glitter. And of course this will help it stay your glitter stay intact and not fall all over the place. You're gonna let this other layer of Mod Podge dry. So while the dowel rod dries, I'm going to go ahead and make the palm for the wand. So I'm gonna take my piece of cardboard and it is seven inches by four inches and the, the length really doesn't matter so much with these smaller ones. So um, as long as it's four inches across here. And now I'm gonna take my tool and I'm gonna bunch it up like this. And I'm gonna start wrapping it around the cardboard. And you wanna wrap it around about 15 times. Okay, so that's about 15. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the end of the tool and slide that off the cardboard. So now that I'm holding it like this, take my ribbons together, which will make it easier. And I'm gonna tie both around um, this tool here and I'm going to leave excess. The, my dowel rods are about 12 inches, so I want the ribbons to hang down probably about six inches. So I am going to go ahead and um, since it would be six inches, so six inches will hang down on the one side, so then I wanna add another six inches, and then I wanna add a couple inches for tying. So I'm gonna make it about 16 inches in length, my ribbons, and go ahead and cut them. And now I'm gonna tie this in the middle of my tool bow here. And I'm gonna make sure that they are even here. And just go ahead and tie that really tight around the middle of the ribbon. And make sure it's in the middle because you want your pump to be even. Just tie it really tight. Okay, so see how that's hanging down? 
Now, you're gonna take your scissors and you're going to go ahead and cut the top part of, it kind of looks like a bow actually, if you look at it. Um, so the top part of your palm here, you see these little strands here, how they are connected. You're gonna take your scissors and go ahead and put it through there and cut them. Just like so. Fluff them out after you cut them. Okay, see that? Okay, fluff it out. And now I'll do the same thing to the opposite side. Fluff that side out too. Now it's just time to cut, take your scissors and just kind of even up your palm. So now that I have it all trimmed up, I'm going to turn it over to where my I tied the knot and I'm going to, of course, take my dowel rod and I'm going to put hot glue all on top of that little knot there and take my dowel rod and stick it into the glue. Push the tool down around it and we're just going to make sure that it stays like that and just let that dry and then you'll fluff out, fluff your um, palm back out and then you have your palm. How cute are those? Also, you can make these a bit longer, your ribbon. So here are the finished tool pom-pom wands and they turned out really cute. They will go great for a centerpiece at a birthday party or even a wedding. Um, you can make them different colors to go with many different party themes. I just think that they look really cute and also you can give them away um, as a party favor. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button that's down there below. And if you have any other ideas that you would like to see made, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.